Okay, the rest of the saying about the he who has hands, no wounds on his hands, right? And this is kind of why it don't make sense, right? Um, right. Right. Poison does not affect one who has no wound, nor is there evil for one who does not commit evil. Mm -hmm. Right, right. See, the last part makes sense, but the part about the wound in the hand or, mm -hmm. you know, if you're, if it's a fresh cut, I can understand that, right? Depending on what you mean, right? But if it's a cut, that's healed, or even then, poison on the wound don't matter, or the person is already dead, or something, right? Well, that don't mean God can't heal the person either, right? And raise them from the dead if you're a Christian, right? Versus a Buddhist. See, see the thing is, right, you're getting bogged down in tradition sometimes. You're you're not believing that God can raise the dead, right? resurrected it, right? You're pretending to me, right? Or heal you, right? Not that you want to be beaten by a man or your husband, or that's right or wrong, per se, right? But, of course, if you have that kind of relationship with God, wouldn't you sooner God heal you, right? I know. Yeah, you yeah. know. Even if your husband is beating you, right, right. Now, I'm not saying, right, it's right, mm-hmm. Or, again, he should be weeping you at all, at all. But pray for healing and speak of this. Right. When Jesus went and asked the blind man, hey, what's up, dude? What do you want me to do for you? Right. He said, Lord, that I may see you. Well, what can I do to help this man see? So Jesus mixed something, concoction of spittle and mud, right, or dirt, right, and put it on the man's eyes, right? As if putting eye slab on his eyes, right? And the man at first saw men as trees, which is metaphoric more than literal, but it is in the Bible. No, no. Then he did something again and he saw clearly, right? Now, even Stevie Wonder, for example, has not seen since he was born, but because he believes and doesn't know how to see through normal means, right? He never saw to see in the first place. Right. So he must believe, right, that God can heal his eyesight, right, without mm -hmm, something special being done to him, right? If he doesn't believe he can see, no matter what he does, he is still not able to see, right? Right. I'm not calling him blind because I judge him as blind, right? I'm saying the man has never learned to see. You know? So he therefore cannot access the part of his brain for sight, right? Which is part of what it is, right? <laughs> Since he was a child, right? No, no. Now, Ray Charles, for example, went blind. He could see at first, right? But his brother died, right? And his mother probably, like I told you before, yelled at him, didn't you see your brother was drowning? Right. And he went blind because he didn't know his brother was drowning. Right? But it's not his fault. He's only a seven-year old child. He didn't know, right? That his brother was drowning, right? He didn't know what drowning was, right? So the mother, though, blamed him right, for mm -hmm. his brother's death, right? And he felt guilty all his life that he didn't realize his brother was drowning and he went blind, mm -hmm. punishing himself. You understand, Stevie? 
<laughs> and as you never seen before, but shadow of light, right? To come out of the dark, you must what? No, no. Pray to God to open up your eyes as it did with other blind men in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But what it needs to do there, or if you're deaf, right? You got to pray for God to open the pathways in your mind to hear sound again, right? Because something closed them, right? There's a pathway in your mind, right? That you're no longer accessing, right? And because you're not accessing that pathway, mm -hmm, it's been closed to you, right? You have what's called deaf ears, right? Or blind eyes. And now with those who cannot speak, the problem there is, again, something psychological, right? Has caused you to stop talking, right? And you no longer can speak what you're supposed to speak, right? Or you sick of speak or never learn to speak, right? See, what might be going on there is you're using them telling you you're dumb, right? To be dumb, <laughs> right? And not say nothing because you don't know what to say, right? Part of it too, right? Mm. But the stop children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going round. Amen. Who has eyes to see, ears to hear, and a mouth to speak with, right? But if you can't stop, look, and listen, right? And then speak the sound doctrine, right? You're being confused by the enemy, right? That's the problem, right? And he's blinding you, making you deaf and dumb and not able to speak the words of God, right? And it's all in your mind, right? Since you were a child, right? It's been instilled in you. And yet you heard them say you were deaf. You saw them do the test and say, oh, they didn't hear that, right? What do you think that does, right? Hmm.